everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. This week I've joined the 12 Days of Christmas Memories YouTube Inspiration Hop. For day five, our scrapbook layout theme is Ringing Up the Lights. All right, so I'm going to be doing a layout of our trip to Estes Park when we saw the lights parade. I have a few of the photos here, but I'm still looking for the rest of the photos of us watching the parade, and I'll add those later on in the video. I've grabbed a variety of papers from Echo Park and Close to My Heart and a couple of pieces of cardstock. And I also have this snowflake stencil, which I will be using to create my background. All right, I'm gonna go off camera and cut down a few of these papers so we can start building this scrapbook layout. All right, I've gone ahead and cut down all of the papers that I'm going to be using, and I've gone ahead and matted my photos in white and trimmed them down just a little bit. So I've chosen to use a deep gray wood grain for my background, and I'm going to be placing a pale gray linen color over the top. This has been cut at nine inches high by 10 inches wide. I'm going to be placing this beautiful blue tree paper on the right side of the layout, and I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit. This is going to be about five and a half inches wide by 10 and a half inches tall. To add to the snowy feel of the layout, I'm also going to be tucking this piece of snowflake paper behind that linen gray cardstock and a piece of red triangle paper. Those shapes kind of remind me of trees and they're going to add a nice horizontal line across the page. The next step is to lay down these photos and figure out where they're going to go. And now we have all of the bare bones for this page in place. All right, so before I glue everything down, I've decided that I wanna add a couple of snowflakes with texture paste. I'm going to be using a stencil from scrapbook.com and some Ranger brand transparent matte texture paste. The matte texture paste is going to give me the raised snowflake design that I want on my background page, but it's not going to have any color. It's going to be transparent. So we're just going to have a really soft snowflake design there in the background that's not going to distract from the other elements on the page. So you can see that I secured my stencil in place there on the background page, and I'm randomly filling in a couple of those different snowflake designs. I've added a couple of the snowflakes to the top left corner of the page, and a few of them to the lower left corner of the page. These are just going to peek out behind the other layers of paper I add to the layout. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and seal up this jar of texture paste, wash off all of my tools and my stencil. I'm going to let this dry for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and put this page together. Let me go ahead and bring this up to the camera so that you can see how beautiful those snowflake stencils are and how they add just a lovely little detail to the background page. All right, so I've gone ahead and let that background dry, and you can see it just has a nice transparent texture there on the background with just those little shadows of snowflake images. All right, I'm gonna start adhering all of these pieces down into place and explain to you why I chose some of the colors and designs for the layout. So I've chosen to add the linen in the center to give me a nice white space to place my photos. I've chosen to create a great big frame around that with that wood grain paper and then just a little pop of design with the snowflakes there over on the left. I chose to use the darker tree paper because it matches all of the darker colors in the beautiful winter pictures that I have there. And I know that the trees are going horizontal, but it actually works for this layout because it kind of draws your eye across the page. I chose to add some pops of red on this layout 
because it's creating a nice primary colored color palette and the red kind of brings in that Christmassy feel that I'm trying to share with our visit to the Parade of Lights. Now to pop up this main photo on the left page, I have a couple of six by six papers from Echo Park and I'm just going to layer them on top of each other and place that photo over the top using a little bit of foam tape. Now these three photos were taken as we were driving to Estes Park to the annual lights parade. When I started creating this layout, I knew that I had some more photos of the people at the lights parade. And while my texture paste was drying, I did rummage through my photos and I ended up finding two more photos to help tell the story of our traditional visit to Estes Park. So I've gone ahead and created a second page for those photos. I've used the same papers and designs as the first, and I added some snowflakes over here on the center of the page. And this is forming a visual triangle between all three sets of those stenciled snowflakes to draw your eye across the page. All right, so I'm going to take this page and start adding a couple more elements from the left page to balance out the layout. So I'm going to bring in some more of that red and blue pattern paper from the 6x6 six six paper pack. You might have noticed that there are little holes at the bottom of those papers. You're supposed to trim this portion of that paper off, but I needed to keep it on there to allow me to have more of that paper showing. And you're going to see here in a minute that I end up rotating that red sheet to be able to hide that little hole so that my photos can go over the top. Now I've also overlapped that blue piece of paper over to the left side to kind of help create a cohesive look like the two pages are joined together. Now I have this little title that says bundled up and I'm going to be dry fitting it in place. At this point I am doing just kind of a lot of dry fitting of my elements. I'm trying to figure out where everything needs to go. I've got this nice great big snowflake that I want to put up here in the corner. It's going to match all of the other snowy elements on the page and it's going to also help my title really stand out up there at the top of the layout. So now I have this nice great big title over here in the upper right. I want to add some elements into the lower left so that I can draw your eyes diagonally across the page. I'm just going to add this beautiful white tree and tuck it here behind the photos, add some other tree die cuts that I have from my collection, a little gray deer here on top of the trees, and then a nice wooden element, which is another tree. In the top right hand corner, I started putting some other elements together. I've added a couple of banners in red and blue and a brown pine cone, which matches the brown trees that I've added onto the page. And then I'm just going to start kind of filling in with some other items to create this nice visual triangle. So I've tucked in another little pine cone there on the right which matches some of the other brown elements that I have added to the page. And then I'm going to add this simple white tree here at the top. And I'm making sure that all of my elements are touching so that nothing looks like it's just kind of hanging out there in midair. On the left side of the title, I'm going to add three trees. And this is just going to really kind of draw your eye to that title and just kind of create a nice little frame around those words. Off camera, I added a few more elements to the page. And you can see that there's a word there next to the little bird on the left side in black. And I decided that I wanted to replace it because I feel like that single black element just stood out a little too much and this gray colored word fits in a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera and adhere all of these elements into place and then we're going to finish up some of the final details of the layout. So here I have two clusters in the lower left and the upper right. And I created this little set of banners, but it kind of throws off that diagonal flow across the page. 
and I kept trying to play with it, but it just wasn't working. And I realized that if I stuck it in the lower right corner, it actually worked a lot better and created a nice visual triangle with all of those elements. Now at this point I end up adding more to the title and I do regret my decision later. You'll see in the end that I do end up pulling off the word all because it just does not fit with the title. But I know you guys have done the same thing. You have thought, oh, it just needs a little bit more. And so you add one more element and then later on you're like, oh my gosh, why did I do that? I should have just left it the way it is, right? So right here, you're going to see me gluing in that word. This is with some white acrylic letters, which are super fun to use, but they just didn't work for me later on in the layout. Okay, so I'm going to add a couple more items here. I've got a little craft colored tag there on the right side next to that pine cone. And I'm going to add another little word element here to match the feelings we were feeling. And then over there on the right, I'm going to add another great big snowflake to match all of the other snowflake elements on the page. All right, so remember how I told you that I overlapped part of that blue pattern paper onto the left side to kind of create a cohesive feel. Well, right now I'm going in and I'm trimming off that little sliver of paper in between the two layouts and I'm just going to glue that sliver in place. And now we have what looks like a continuous piece of paper across the two pages. A fun little decorative element that I always love adding are acrylic dots. And I'm just going to add these onto the page, forming visual triangles as I go. And now all I need to do is add some journaling and we're gonna take a look at this finished layout. All right, so not only did I add my journaling, but I did make a couple of changes. You can see that I added a cute little set of red flags there. I got rid of that word all, and I added my journaling here at the bottom. And I did change out that little pattern strip that was snowflakes for a different pattern. I love how all of these elements came together to share our story of our visit to Estes Park to see the Parade of Lights. I want to thank you for joining me today for day five of the 12 days of Christmas Memories YouTube Inspiration Hop. I'm so glad that I took the time to record these memories of our family visiting the Lights Parade. This layout fits perfectly with the theme, Bringing Up the Lights. If you wish to see more Christmas Memories layouts, I put a link to all the creators participating in this hop in the description below. If you would like to see more scrapbook layouts I have made, you can click on that collection icon above. While you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I can't wait to see what you create.